All right, so welcome back to another review and we have a really, really exciting IEM today. This is the KZZFN Pro X and I prioritized this one because you guys are requesting this here in this channel. So I did unbox this and I'm really impressed um, so far with the overall listen, but I'm even more impressed after I did some measurements in this one and after I listened to this one versus the other IEMs in the price range. So these are really surprising IEM for me and I think um, they're kind of perfecting the formula with the new ZSN Pro X. But of course, big thanks to Luck LZ for sending this over. Links down below for their shop. Just the overall look, I actually like the look in this one versus the previous ZSN Pro. So for me, the faceplate looks better. Um, the finish on the metal looks better for me. Of course, it's still using the same shape as you have with the ZSN Pro. So very, very safe shape. Um, anybody can just wear this and just be okay with the fit. Isolation is good. Um, fit is good and really comfortable to wear on the ear as well. Uh, but what's really nice is uh, they included a new silver plated cable with this one. And the cable looks definitely more upscale compared to your brown cable. I constantly keep on um, you know, commenting on the brown cable and it's nice that KZ already is replacing their cable with the you know a better um, looking cable. L-plug as well, so definitely usable in this one. But of course, since we're hobbyists, uh, we like to upgrade our stuff. I do recommend a Yin Yu 8 core in this one. The tips that they included is okay. Um, it's in the soft side and also um, included Starline tips as well in this one. Uh, but of course, for the tips, I would um, still upgrade it to um, you know uh, spin fits or AET 08. Um, if you want uh, accessories for your ZSN Pro X, I'm gonna link it down in the comments below. So in terms of the overall build quality, um, this is a slight notch up compared to your ZSN Pro. Uh, but of course, it still falls right smack in that kind of price range. It's still not you know the the best. I'm looking I am that I have held here in this channel but definitely for the price I'm really good looking in this one but now let's proceed to the sounds actually the sound in this one is really surprising for me especially after I have measured it so it's a bit different compared to your old ZSN Pro compared to the old ZSN Pro I find that this has better um, vocal positioning also more revealing vocals overall, more um, detail overall. Also a tighter, more controlled um, kind of bass, uh, kind of more mature bass with this one. Um, also better separation, a bigger stage. So is it a better version compared to your old ZSN Pro? I would say yes, uh, especially in the tuning which we're gonna discuss in a few. But there are some cons here which might deter some people from getting this one which we're gonna discuss in a few. So looking at the signature, it's a very surprising signature for a KZ. Actually, when I measured it, I cannot believe what I am seeing. So it's not anymore your outright V-shaped um, kind of KZ. Um, so it's actually fairly neutral until around um, 600 hertz region and uh, it has a slight recession at around 1k to 2k uh, but it's not super duper recessed which makes the vocals um, positioning here really really good and it goes up with that double horns that um, I personally like at around a 5k and also 10k a region so that double horns um, gives it more excitement in the sound uh, more fun to listen to so it's a musical sounding I am very lively sounding this more in the clean side of presentation and also in terms of the presentation of the sound is more in the aggressive side of presentation. So for some people who is sensitive to fatigue, um, you might find this a bit too aggressive for you guys. So yes, this is very lively sounding in the ZSN Pro X. So the highs in this one are well extended, um, even more extended than before. Um, this has some shimmer still. Um, this near sibilance for me, so for some people, you might find this a bit too hot. I'm not that treble sensitive, so it's okay for me, but for some people, take note. So for those who found the ZSN Pro to be too bright for you, um, you should skip this one. This will be bright for you as well. But for me personally, I do like how extended it is on top. It gives it more fun. It makes it a more kind of exciting listen. The instrument still has good body to it. So like in Beat It, a Michael Jackson. Um, the cymbals are very lively and has again that shimmer on top but still has good body in the cymbals. It doesn't sound thin at all. So I would say um, well um, placed in this one in terms of the um, overall signature. But while the shimmer is an improvement compared to your other um, you know, chi-fi manufacturers, um, this is still a con because uh, the shimmer is still there. There's still a slight um, peak on top. So the shimmer might not be for everybody, um, especially for those who doesn't like a BA kind of um, sound on top. You might find this a bit off or unnatural, so it will depend on you. Um, for me, I'm kind of used to that kind of sound, so it's not um, a big deal for me. Also another con is the tonality on top. So this is not the best tonality that I have heard. 
So for some people who is not used to that, again, you will find dynamic driver counterparts to be um, superior compared to this one. So yes, this still has some cons, but I do like still the highs overall. It still has also very nice detail on top. It resolves um, detail really fast. So because of that energetic top and also um, nice detail retrieval, I will still give this high marks. Mitsin, this one is one of my favorite in the price range. Uh, actually, really surprising for a KZ. It's more in the clean side of presentation. The vocals are nice and revealing. Um, great positioning also one of my favorites for sure in the price range also nicely detailed again and also good separation with this one so i can't believe that i'm saying it for kz so i'm um, saying nice um, mids over all but again in terms of the con so again much like the highs the tonality is not the best in this one also this still has that edginess in the presentations for those who's used to again dynamic drivers uh, you might find this a bit off for me because of that clean sound nice separation also um you know fairly revealing vocals one of my favorite ba vocals that i have seen in that price range i will give this high marks in the mids bass is surprisingly in the tight side attack is fast and also the decay is fast as well also goes pretty deep as well so definitely substantial in the mix in this one uh, but this is not your bass heads iem if you're a bass head you might go to the zstx so for me the bass in this one is a bit more mature a bit more in the critical listening because it doesn't you know overpower the mids so the separation is improved um, with this kind of bass soundstage is fairly big in this one i'm saying bigger than the previous imaging is just all right in this one not bad but uh, definitely not the best that i have listened to separation is actually really good with this one with that clean kind of sound and tight bass um this one of the best separation that i have seen for a kz so i can maybe do some slight mixing in this one and also for monitoring work um this is very nice as well um, because yes you can hear the instruments in the mix um easily with this one tonality is not the best as i have mentioned this one of the weakness of the zsn pro x um detail is very good for the price in this one one of the better detailed pairs in that price range for sure so compared to the kb or ks2 so the ks2 is a more fun iem it has more bass more pronounced um bass impact um smoother sound overall the ks2 is closer to the zstx in terms of the overall sound um compared to the zsn pro x so the zsn pro x in comparison is cleaner has more shimmer on top uh brighter as well more revealing sound in the ZSN Pro, also a uh, more aggressive sounding. Also better vocal positioning for me in the ZSN Pro X. So for me, this is a toss up. I do like them both. If you like more bass and a more fun sound and a more prominent bass, you might like the KB or KS2. If you want more of a critical listening, I am a brighter kind of sound, a cleaner kind of sound, you might want to go to the ZSN Pro X. So back to the Nyshik DB3, actually both have good vocal positioning. The DB3 is smoother in sound, a more warmish in presentation. Uh, also has more bass with the DB3 as well. The bass is more pronounced in the DB3. The ZST Pro X is cleaner, uh, has more shimmer on top, um, tighter bass, uh, brighter and also better separation with the ZSN Pro X. So definitely separation is really, really good with this one. So this is a toss up again, uh, it will depend on your preference. If you like a cleaner kind of sound and more shimmer, uh, you might want to go to the ZSN Pro X. For like a warmer sound, you might want to go to the DB3. So going to the ZST Pro X, so the ZST X is more bassy, has more boomy bass, uh, more fun to listen to, also a smoother sound with the ZST X, also less aggressive sounding with the ZST Pro X. So these are tuned uh, differently, the ZST X is more of a fun IEM, more bassy. So if you're a bass head, you might like the ZST X more. If you like more clarity and more of a critical listening IEM, you might like the ZSN Pro X more. But to the VK4, so the VK4 is more relaxed, um, less shimmer on top, and also a smoother kind of sound. The VK4 is a more friendly sound over the more aggressive ZSN Pro X. The ZSN Pro X in comparison is cleaner, um, also more revealing, more detailed, and uh, more shimmer as well on top. So both have their strengths and weaknesses uh, for those like a more aggressive sound, a more micro detail, and also a brighter sound, um, you might want to go to the ZSN Pro. For like a more relaxed sound, a smoother sound, and a more natural kind of sound, you might like the VK4 more. Right, so compared to the Moondrop Spaceship, so actually the Spaceship is my favorite dynamic driver under $20 and uh, frankly this is hard to beat. Um, so outright the spaceships is one of my favorites for sure in the price range the spaceship is less aggressive has more natural tonality a more neutral kind of signature 
um, kinder sound also overall and less bassy um, overall um, less bass impact um, the ZSN Pro X in comparison has more shimmer a more aggressive kind of sound also brighter as well has more prominent um, bass impact um, and has more micro detail as well so the ZSN Pro X in this comparison is actually more fun to listen to over the Moondrop Spaceship. So frankly, the Moondrop Spaceship is hard to beat, um, especially if you're looking at a more dynamic driver type of sound. So if you're into dynamic drivers, if you're not into BAs, uh, definitely the Spaceship should be in your short list. Um, but definitely this is a toss up for me because it's a different you know, kind of um, tuning. It will depend on your preference. Um, they have you know different purposes. I um, kind of like them both. If you like a more natural sound, a more neutral signature, um, go for the spaceship. If you want a more aggressive sound, more clarity, and of course, you know, you're know you okay with a KZ um, BA type of sound, you might want to go to the ZSN Pro. Based on verdict for the ZSN Pro X, so definitely there's a lot of things going for it. Um, firstly, you know, for the price range, uh, for a critical listening and that tuning, Really, really surprising for a KZ. I think that alone is a unique selling point. And uh, if you are a KZ fan, as KZ ZSN Pro fan, this will be for me a good upgrade for you, especially if you're already used to that kind of sound. This is kind of a more mature version of the ZSN Pro, uh, more of an audiophile kind of tuning, um, clean sound, uh, that detail and aggressive kind of sound, um, almost a nice separation. So definitely for the price range, um, you're getting a lot for your money in this one. Especially with that vocal positioning, it really, really surprised me that it's coming from a KZ. Of course, take note of the cons that I mentioned. Tonality is not the best here. And uh, yeah, for some people, you might find the shimmer or the aggressiveness a bit too much for you. So um, if you're sensitive to fatigue and also sensitive to um, you know treble, you might look elsewhere. But yes, if you are a KZ fan, if you're into uh, you know BAs, if you're into that kind of sound, this should be definitely in your short list. So I would recommend this for KZ fans alike. All right, so that's my review of the KZ ZSN Pro X. Of course, if you learned something, leave a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And of course, if you want to support the channel, I did release my new EP. It's on Spotify and Bandcamp. And I do have a new YouTube channel as well for my MTV. I'm gonna link it down in the comments and description below. If you want to help out the channel, I'm, you know, buying my EP will be one of the bigger um, helps here in this channel. And of course, I'm gonna see you guys in the next review. Goodbye.